All right, so let's do a three mic setup now. We did another video on a two mic one. Uh, I think we need another one. So go over here in your audio uh, MIDI setup. And in fact, uh, just uh, hit the command and space bar key and you'll find, if you just type, start typing in audio MIDI setup, it'll be right there. It's one of your utility apps. And that's what I'm uh, playing around with right now. So I'm gonna go over here and hit the plus sign. We're gonna go to create aggregate device. Uh, then we want to start picking out our microphones. Now, if you see two, like I've got this Yeti on here listed twice, you want the two that are in. So in column two, right? So grab that. And we want our blue snowball to do, 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 all right. And uh, then click in, uh, click on the built-in output as well. So I don't really mess with the uh, the drift correction too much. I'm, I guess I'll just leave it to whatever the defaults are, but you should see something like this. So you've got your sub devices up here and whatever it showed you the rest okay so now what we want to do is switch over to uh garage band and oh and by the way give this a name that makes sense to use so something like three mics set up to right because i've done that before okay so let's switch into garage band go to empty project choose okay and uh let's you know what, let me just quit out of this entirely it, i think it wants to use some settings that I had before. So let's try that one more time. So I'm gonna go to GarageBand. Okay, well, it's trying to load up an old project. So we're gonna be here to a new project, empty project, right? So just click on. All right, so the thing to kind of pay attention to is, notice that over here with input channels, so this is our Yeti, right? It's got that color gray. All right, so that's gonna be one and two. This blue snowball is gonna be three and four. And then this other one is going to be this front left, which is going to be five. So for whatever reason, we're going to get two channels out of this. I guess I guess that just have, depends on the mic, whether or not it's set up to have these two channels. Um, and these are actually not two identical snowballs. One is a snowball ice, but they show up as just, you know, snowballs. So I guess I think this is the ice one. It just has the one input channel. All right. So let's go open up uh, GarageBand and see if we can get this working. Okay, so we want a um, want a new project. So we're going to go over here to Empty Project, choose. And for input, here's what we need to do. We need to go over here and switch this uh, from a, a particular device to that three mic setup. All right, so initializing core audio. Okay, so you got that. Uh, and then, uh, so our default track is going to be this input one and two. So create that. And you can leave this, I hear a sound from built-in output. All right, so that should be my Yeti, which it looks like it definitely is, because I'm seeing this kind of monitor in as we talk. Uh, let's select it. Let's go over here to Track, Configure Track Header, and then we want to set this for Record Enable. Okay, so get that set in there. You notice that it adds that little red recording button. Then let's go add two more tracks. So we want three and four. All right, remember that is going to be that other snowball, and then the last one that should be input five okay so now here's the trickiest part i think it's just you got to hold down the shift key hold down shift hold down shift do it one more time okay so with them all blinking like that that means they're ready to go for recording um if you're doing a podcast you probably don't want beats or anything you just want to set this to time go ahead and take your metronome off this one two three thing and i'm going to go ahead and tap on these mics Okay, that was my snowball ice. That one kind of popped up when I did that. Okay, same thing over there with that guy. And then, sorry, you guys probably heard that, but that's the one that is directly in front of me. And we should be good to go. So I'm going to go over here and just start recording. All right, so clearly I'm kind of, I'm coming in through this one. I'm probably getting captured. I mean, I'm obviously getting captured a little bit through these ones. One's facing me, one's not. So it's going to get a little bit of the audio. But then as I go, and I'm going to go around and on audio three here, I'm going to tap it. So you notice the spikes over there again. Tap this mic. And, okay, so that's clearly coming in. And there you go. That's a three mic set up for GarageBand. And you know what? While I'm talking to you guys, one other thing I noticed is that uh, when I was exporting things out, uh, I could go over here and I could change some of these uh, volume levels. So if you hit the A button, you'll see, see this little yellow line across here? 
Now, as I move this up and down, that kind of baseline changes too. You can actually go in here and, and you know make these little markers for yourself to kind of move things up and down. And I'm not doing anything on the keyboard. I'm just pressing along the line here. If you want to get rid of them, you just kind of got to snap them out of there. All right. Um, and you can move the whole line up and down like that too. So this is nice for, you know, if you know somebody gets really high or something like that, you could make that correction. Um, but uh, overall, I felt like, you know, even when I was raising this thing up, you know, up around here, I, I, at times I just wasn't getting um, basically the, the same export volume that I was um, when I was kind of just listening to it through here. I'm going to hit A again to get rid of those. And uh, the deal with that is if you go over here to Preferences and you go to Advanced, okay, so when you toggle this, when this is toggled on, uh, it tends to do exactly what it's saying here. It's going to auto-normalize things. But and it says it's kind of misleading export projects at full loudness. What I kind of found is that this actually sort of makes things all quieter a little bit. So um, if you're going to go and, and mess around with these volumes on an individual track level, you might want to toggle this off uh, and then go over here to share export song to disk. And then you can choose your AIFF or uh, MP3 settings. And uh, I think you'll, you'll notice a, uh, a big difference over there. And that's, that's about everything I know about GarageBand at this point. Don't ask me anything about all this other stuff down here. But, hey, you got the three mics set up now. And I would assume that if you had a fourth one in there, it's going to be pretty similar where you just go and you add another track. And, of course, don't forget the key here was remembering, hey, these were one and two. These were three and four. This one was five, okay, input five, right? So I'd assume another one that's going to come in here. Maybe that's going to be six or something like that. And then again, you're going to look over here. You're going to leave this as three mic setup, and then you're just going to go find that other input, right? Okay, so that's it, folks.